Hey guys, I'm back. We haven't looked at any new flashlights in a while, so we're gonna look at a company that I feel really bad because they sent me these samples a while ago and they just sort of got lost in the move. Um, not lost in terms of losing the flashlights, just they got put away in a box. These actually traveled with me, not in the moving truck, and they just sort of, they've been in, in storage here with all my stuff. And uh, I was talking to another company that wanted to send me some samples of stuff and in going through my other flashlights, I realized I never did this video. I feel horrible, I feel horrible. Um, so I apologize to Lighting Ever, who actually makes a great product. How good? After I looked at these initially, because um, I've, I've already kind of looked at these lights, I went and I bought another one. I, I mean, I bought one, you know, after looking at these samples with my own money, because they had another model that I really wanted to try and take a look at. So. So uh, these are these are good flashlights, I think. I like their performance, I like their features, and uh, we're gonna look at them. We're gonna do one at a time though. So you'll see this little intro in both of the, the review videos that we do. I also wanna take a moment to say that uh, due to kind of popular request, I have made a DocP91B Facebook page. A lot of folks have messaged me or asked that in comments, you know, why don't I have an Instagram? Why don't I have one? So you guys can look me up now on Facebook, DocP91B. You can go and like that page and follow that page. A lot of people want to know, what, what am I carrying? You know, what's my daily EDC? What am I working on from day to day? You know, in between the times I'm posting videos and that's a great place for me to do it. It's another great place for people to ask questions and stuff and uh, for me to sort of give you an idea of what I'm working on in between video posts and things like that. So go ahead, look it up, DocP91B. I'm on there. Cool. This is the big brother of the two samples they sent me. The model number on this is the 120018. This is a little bit more capable than the smaller one we looked at first. It doesn't have all the fancy information on the box that the first one did, so I'm gonna have to actually put text in as we look at it. Let's take a look at what comes in the box. It's basically the same stuff. Um, you get a slightly larger flashlight this time. So like the previous one we looked at, the 009, you get your USB charging option. This one has a easier to remove battery. It's not the flat top, it's the button top or the nipple top, whatever you want to call it. Um, you can see this one is bigger, it is bulkier, slightly heavier. If you were into using a flashlight for a little bit of self-defense too, this would be the way to go over the previous one. Um, it's got a more substantial crown on the top. It's got a little bit more weight to it. I don't know how well of a self-defense tool this would make, but let's take a look at the actual flashlight features because this one has some cool stuff going on with it. So first of all, this one zooms. It's got a zoom on it. The other one did not. So zoom, whoa. And we'll look at that outside too. This one, rather than having your button do all the mode changing, which can get annoying, I hate that, this one has a little selector wheel, which is pretty cool. I said pretty cool again. I'm going to stop doing that. So the selections you have on the little selector wheel are Fulbright, 100%, 75%. I think that's, that's like about 30%, a little more than 25%, 10%. I honestly don't remember what this is. Oh, flash, and you know, your flash mode and then an SOS flash mode. So you get six modes. Is that six? One, two, three, four, five, six modes on this. And rather than having to worry about your on off button and half clicks and full clicks, you just get to select the mode you want on this ring, which I think is a great feature, which I wish more flashlights would have. Olight does really well where they have a secondary button to switch your modes separate from the on off button. But I like this ring a lot to select. Um, and it's got a little ball detent in there to help you select. It's pretty nice. Now this one is shock resistant and water resistant. So you can drop this one, you can throw this one around a little bit and it still works. It's got some impact resistant glass protecting the LED in there. So it's a little bit more rugged than the last one we looked at from Lighting Ever. A little tougher. It's more made in the tactical realm, you know, reference my tactical rant video. Um, I, you know, everybody wants everything to be tactical now. I'm not sure if it really qualifies as tactical, what qualifies as tactical, what doesn't, but it's a good light. I mean, it's, it's got a lot of features in it. 
I love being able to select on the ring rather than having to worry about where I am in my cycle with the button and half click and full clicks and, and all that other stuff. Um, so, and, you know, again, I wouldn't recommend a uh, flashlight for playing old self-defense, but, or if you're, you're good at it, whatever, it's your choice. But this crown is a lot more um, set up for that than the previous one. And again, USB charging. Don't know. This battery has been sitting around just like the other one has for months and months and months. So it uh, holds a charge, obviously, pretty well just for storage. Again, fits in the hand pretty well. In terms of slippage and wet conditions and everything, um, the areas above and below the, the main barrel where you'll hold it will help you get a good grip. Good with gloves or plain hand. And, you know, I guess now we just got to take it outside and take a look at it. So this is just a size comparison of the uh, two samples they sent side by side. So if you're looking just to see what the difference is, and if we were to raise the zoom on that, you see, um, that's, that's the difference basically. So one is a bit bigger, a bit bulkier, a bit chunkier than the other, but you get all those extra features for that. To start with, when I was testing the smaller flashlight, these are the two spots that we tested the glow in the dark material. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side starting right here. Well, this one is a brighter flashlight. Take a look at that bright spot. These two have been glowing for a little bit. This one is fresh. That is bright. Look at it illuminate my hand right above there. Now let's start going through the different modes of the flashlight. Great thing about this one is you don't have to worry about turning it on for a certain amount of time or anything because the selector ring does the mode. So it's going to turn right back on in the super bright mode and look at the field of view as compared to the other one. Super wide field of view. And then if we want to zoom it in, we get our spotlight. Notice you also don't see the little crease square on the wall that you do with some lights. That glow in the dark material Showing as bright as ever right there. I mean, really nice wide field of view. Let's see, am I going in the right direction? No, I'm not. Let's take it down a notch. That's really hard to tell the difference. I mean, you can kind of tell. Full bright, next down. But the reflective material is still bright as ever, right? This is zoomed. Full field of view, take it down a notch. And now this is the moonlight mode. Camera's even having trouble focusing now. You see that reflective material back there? Yeah, camera's having a lot of trouble focusing in this very low light mode. There we go. And now we should be going to strobes. So this is quick strobe, and the camera's not focusing on anything right now. And let's go to the SOS. Well, the camera actually focused. It has time to focus on the dashes, not on the dots. Let's see, with a zoom. We're going to go back to full power mode now on wide field of view. Now, here's the glow in the dark spot that we started with. I'm going to charge up another one. That is a very bright light. That almost makes a lantern effect right down here. All right, and here's the initial glow compared to how it faded off a little bit. I mean, that's super bright. You can wonder if you can read any of the writing on the flashlight. You can. You can you can read the markings on the flashlight by the glow in the dark. That's pretty cool. So this is I like this flashlight a lot. It's not their best one that they make in terms of what I like. I I went and bought one um, that they didn't offer me a sample of because it had some features that I liked even better. And I'm going to do a review of that one. And like I said in the other 
lighting ever flashlight video i think that's the best compliment you can give a brand is is when the reviewer takes the samples and then based on the samples goes out and spends their own money on another one of the products i don't think that can send any more clearly a signal as to how they feel about what this company has to offer but you guys will see that review in a little bit great features good price thanks to lighting ever for providing the sample i apologize for not getting these reviews done faster i just they got kind of lost in the shuffle but both this light and the 120019 will be involved in the next big channel giveaway like i do with about 95 percent of all the samples i get um, they're given to me for free, so I'm not going to keep them. I'm going to pass them on to viewers of the channel. Pretty pretty good stuff. If I had to pick between this or the 19, I'd go with this one myself. A few, couple more bucks, but I think that with the different modes, the big thing to me, the killer thing to me, is that you don't have to worry about changing the mode with the power button. I love having this ring where you can select the mode and not worry about what happens. I also like the zoom capability. That's pretty good, too. And then it has all those other cool features, too, especially the one where you can recharge it by USB, just unscrew the end cap, plug it in, it uses standard rechargeable batteries if you don't want to recharge it through that method. So you can just plug your batteries into a battery charger, and it's got its shock, shock resistance and water resistance rating as well. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching this one. As I remind you always in every video, you are all awesome. The best part of this channel are the people that watch it. I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll be back again real soon.